Welcome back, guys, watching my show, Big Rig Fix. Today, we're working on the Freightline M2 Cummins ISL9 overheating and thermostat replacement. Let's drain the coolant first. Um, I'm going to show you where the thermostat is and why we're replacing the thermostat later on in the video. We're going to explain what happened, the symptoms of this truck. Um, so, on this Freightliner, it's a, I think a 2015, um, it's a bigger Cummins engine. Uh, it's on the right hand side uh, next to the thermostat. On this particular, it's on the by the AC compressor. So <clears throat> those bolts are just 10 millimeters. We're gonna take these two off. Uh, make sure it's not over. There's always gonna be water in the after I've drained the coolant already, as you can see in the beginning. There's always gonna be water in this engine. So make sure you have a pan over there underneath this because there's gonna be some water coming out no matter what, what you do. Um, so I made a mess too, even on this video, as you see later in this video. Um, just and if it's over hot, make sure you're wearing gloves and safety glasses. Just be safe. And please subscribe down there in the bottom, guys, and all the tools in, in the description. And if you want to support the channel, please there's a like, PayPal up and up on the and link below in the description. And any comments help out. So we got the tool bolts out, 10 millimeters, pull this off. Oh, where's the thermostat? Okay, it's not in there. It's stuck into the the housing of thermostat housing. So you can see all that steam. It was hot when I did it. It's a little hot. All right, we're gonna pull this over to the side. You guys can see it's not the best picture, but okay, there's this thermostat. Uh oh, that's not supposed to be doing that. That pit tip right there just popped out. It is not normal. We're gonna be pulling this out, pry it out, and you can see I'm gonna pull this piece out. That piece is not supposed to um, be popping it out. Here's a new one. I have the new one right there. See this little piece right there? Oh, you see it fell off. It's not supposed to do that. Um, and the other one too. Let me see. We'll get the new one out so you guys see this a little better. I'm going to put that back in there. That's the old one. That, that piece right there is not supposed to be coming out. You can see this new one. I pull on it. It doesn't come out. So that's where we're going to replace it. So the reason why this thing was, uh, I thought it was a thermostat. It was... The customer said it was overheat only in the mornings and then it would go away and never overheat again. So, um, I did a couple checks to check the fan clutch and a couple other checks, just basic checks and check fault codes and overheated 19, 90 times. So, um, right now I'm going to clean this all the surface off and place that gasket. You can see that before, and it was, uh, all of a sudden, I went down the hill. I was road testing, and all of a sudden, the fan clutch working, and, and just I look to look over, and it started overheating. Out of all of a sudden, it went over 250 degrees, and then I stopped, and all of a sudden, it stopped and went back to normal. Um, it was just basically that's a sticking thermostat. That's what it was doing. That little part was not supposed to even get stuck, or whatever it was doing, it, it was sticking. So that's what you call a sticking thermostat. So if that was a problem. A piece was broken there. Uh, yeah, I'm using a magnet to put these bolts back in. That works really good if you can put a magnet to, to line those up. And as you can see before, I, I cleaned that surface off and put that gasket in. I'm going to put a magnet to get this one in because it's kind of a little hard to get to with the socket. we going to just fall out of the socket. So, again, guys, please like, subscribe. All right, we get these uh, bolts all tightened up. Make sure you, you don't want to tight one side up too tight and cock, cock the seal or anything like that. So. Kind of tight a little bit each side at a time, and and you add coolant. And when the Cummins, you make sure that when you add coolant, you want to let it run with the cap off for about 15 minutes, getting bubbles out. You can see my mess right there because I didn't have the pan in a good spot, so you will make a mess. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for for watching and like, subscribe, and if you want to donate to the channel, there's a in the links to the description below. There's a PayPal account if you, anything will help, and uh, any comments, and for anything you'd like to see. And thanks, guys, for watching, and have a good weekend or, or weekday, wherever what's going on in your life. And thanks for watching again. Bye.